Hey everyone, it's your boy Babby here, and today I'm going to show you how to install Fallout 4 mods, the manual way, and the way with the Nexus mod manager as well. So let's get right into this. So, if you want to install a mod for Fallout 4 the manual way, you you know, you have to select it, okay? So, yeah, for example, let's go with this mod, okay? This is a simple ESP mod, nothing too, nothing too shabby, nothing too hard, you know, just drag and drop this, put it in here, boom. Okay, that's pretty easy, right? So you just drag and drop this file into here. Um, then you go to your um, Fallout 4 Documents folder, go to Fallout 4 Any, scroll down to the Archive mod, and make sure you have this line enabled here. Okay, this one is really important, because without this line, mods mostly won't work. Um, so that's pretty simple, right? Um, so if you have done that, you know, click and save, boom, you're done. There's also a newer version for this. Um, which is this line right here. Um, I don't know, for me it didn't work when I tried disabling the other line in the Fallout Any. Um, I have now both enabled, so um, yeah, that has that. Um, it still works for me perfectly fine, nothing's wrong, nothing's abnormal or anything. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's move on to the next step. So what you're gonna do is, you gotta go to Fallout uh, no, you get to go to computers, <clears throat> your hard drive where you have, you know, your your user. Go to users, uh, your name, app data. Go to local. Go to Fallout 4, plugins, and make sure you have your mod. You t you type the name of your mod in here with the correct file uh, extension. You know, ESP or ESM. That's pretty important, you know, if you have done that, just click save and you're done. Now, if you want to install mods via the Nexus Mod Manager, just open it up, go to Mods, click Add Mod from File, go, let's go with, um, let's see, I, I have no idea which, let's go Carbon Fiber Sub Mod, Rifle Mod, okay, so you just add that, I have it already installed, so I'm not going to bother with That's it. how it works. Um, okay, so if, you, if you're done, you just basically add the mod, and then it should pop up either here or somewhere else. And boom, you're done. I already, already have it installed. I'm not going to bother with that. If you double-click it, it is checked, and it should appear here in the plugins if it has an ESP. Um, if not, then, you know, it's just a simple text replacer mod. If it has an ESP or an ESM, it should appear here, and you just basically have to click it, and you're done. And that's basically uh, how you install mods for Fallout 4 right now. Um, it's a little bit tricky, the man version, but you should do you should do fine if you have the Nexus Mod Manager or anything else like that. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope this helped you guys a little bit. I'm talking very fast, um, but I'm trying to make this as short as possible. You don't guy, you guys don't have to watch hourly hour-long, you know, tutorials. Hope this helps, guys. Hope you enjoyed this, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.